What's up guys, this is Ash and Kaylee and this week I'm sharing with you my top books for the comic book artist. Last week I shared with you some of my favorite books pertaining to drawing and I think drawing is a really really important skill no matter what medium you decide to use but if you are interested in graphic novels these books today are going to give you kind of an idea of some of the things that I have found most useful. I have dabbled in comic book creation for quite a while now and I'm still working on two that I hope to later publish so these books here I, I think were really great references in my own practice and I think you might find a lot of value in them as well. As always, I've included links in the description to all the books that I mentioned if they are available on Amazon. And those are affiliate links, but they don't add to your cost whatsoever. So if you are thinking about buying any of those books, I ask that you please consider using those links because it really does help me out a lot. My first recommendation is by the author and illustrator, Scott McCloud. He has written a couple different books on comic books and he has illustrated and written his own graphic novels. So I think he is actually a really knowledgeable resource. And this book was one of three that I'm recommending today, his first one, and it just kind of helps give you an idea of what the comic book art form is. And um, it's a great read and it's done in graphic novel style with very cute illustrations. I think it's a really great book. For my second recommendation, it's also by Scott McCloud, and that is his book on making comics. So the Understanding Comics was really describing the comic book art form. This one tells you more how to use it. It goes over various topics and principles, like how to create characters with depth, um, how to piece together an actual comic book page, um, body language, expression. It covers a lot of things that you would definitely find useful in creating a comic book. So I really love the last two. This one is pretty good too, but um, if I had to pick between them, I would definitely go with the other two first. This one, my third recommendation is Reinventing Comics. And I think it is just a nice read to help push the medium further. Things that you might want to consider to do more with the medium. Um, again, it's also in graphic novel form, about the same length as the other two. Um, I, I really like them and if you read the other two first, you probably won't want to get your hands on this one as well. So with comic books, you really do have to know how to draw a bunch of different things and it is super important that you'd use good perspective. A lot of people are a little bit intimidated by perspective and stick to like the same viewpoints. Um, but I think it is a very good skill to master or at least try to master. And with that in mind, my next recommendation is by David Chelsea and it's his book Perspective for Comic Artists. Um, this one, as you can see by its shape and size, is uh, very similar to the last couple by Scott McCloud and it is in graphic novel form, which I think is really cool because it shows some of those perspective ideas in practice so you can see how it's used and it being in kind of like a storybook form, it helps to remember it, at least in my opinion. It's a really great resource for all the basics of perspective. You can take it even further with his next book, Extreme Perspective for Artists. This one goes into the perspectives that are a little bit less common, like fisheye or um, cylindrical isometric stuff that you don't see as common. And that's probably because it's a little bit harder to do but with his help, you can understand it a little bit better. And this book actually comes with a DVD that has um, perspective grids in it that you can print out to use in your traditional practice, or you can throw those digital files into your favorite software um, and use them as a layer that you can draw over or use as a guide. So great book here and also in that lovely graphic novel style. So I highly recommend these books by David Chelsea. My next recommendation is by one of my personal comic book heroes, Terry Moore, the author of works such as Strangers in Paradise, one of my favorite, um, Echo and Rachel Rising. He wrote this book, How to Draw, Five Lessons for the Serious Comic Artist. Um, this book is not really like other how to draw books, in my opinion. He shares with you a lot of insights and experience He's been at it a really long time and he is a master at it. So there are things he includes in this book that 
I haven't often seen in other how to draw books. Um, I think it's a great read. It's kind of short, but it's probably something you'll want to check out and read more than once. I uh, highly recommend this one. My next recommendation is The Complete Guide to Self-Publishing Comics by Comfort Love and Adam Withers. They are a husband and wife couple who have been publishing their own comics together since 2008. And this book goes through the entire process from concept all the way up to distrib distribution and selling your work. Uh, it's a nice read. It's full of lovely illustrations and examples and pro tips by other artists in the field. Um, very nice reference to have. In the book Making Comics by Scott McCloud, he does share with you the importance of um, expression in the face and has even some grids that I found to be very helpful when combining um, to make certain expressions. I even printed that page or two out and kept, keep it near my workstation. Um, but if you want to take it a little bit further, I recommend The Artist Complete Guide to Facial Expression by Gary Fagan. This is a nice book, um, whether or not you're a comic book artist, but they say um, when you are trying to tell a story, and this works for film or for um, the comic book medium, um, you want to show more than tell. And how do you do that but by showing the expressions on the face? So this is an excellent resource. It shows you in photos and drawings that are mostly realistic how the muscles and skeletal form affect the expression. Uh, it is a really nice resource to have. You can see a bunch of different examples of all these various expressions and how the face contorts when you do them. So that is a great resource for you. My last recommendation for this video is not really a book. It is a little collection of essays by the famous comic author, Alan Moore. This is Writing for Comics and it's very short, but I think it is a valuable read because it gives you insight into someone who's very successful at writing comics. So whether or not you're writing your comics yourself, it is nice to go through and take a peek into the mind of um, someone who's working in the industry for a very long time successfully and how they go about the creation to work better with your writer or help you in your own writing if your work is totally on your own. All right, guys, so those are some of my favorites, and I would love to know what your favorites are. If I have neglected to mention some that are super important in your opinion, please mention those in the comments. And if you are working on any comic books that you have available to read online, I would love to check them out too, so make sure in to include links to those. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you as always for watching, and see you next time, guys. Happy creating!